So here's the final completed circuit. As you can see, it's responding to my voice. I'm like two uh, feet away from that little electric microscope, uh, microphone over there. Uh, this is set to solid colors that change according to uh, these um, uh, counter chips and at that clock rate. And you can see the colors changing every single time. Um, I'm going to try it with uh, a little royalty free music and uh, let's see what happens. Um, hold on. Let's go. So uh, the circuit is basically an electric microphone, which uh, gets amplified by an LM386 uh, chip on the left of the breadboard here. Uh, it goes to another op amp, an LM324, through an active uh, high pass and low pass filters, and it goes through a diode and a resistor capacitor network to ground, which is a peak detector circuit. And um, it looks fairly good. You can see on the oscilloscope the peak detector circuit um, moving with the amplitude. You can get a focus of it here. And um, you can see when I stop it, it only responds to my voice. Um, and I have a switch here which uh, can change it to um, rainbow. Uh, let's put the music back on. So I described this circuit previously in, um, in a previous video. Basically, I have uh, a flash uh, analog to digital converter, which is getting clocked in um, at 124 at the clock speed uh, to these um, to the NeoPixel driver, the data in. Um, so you can refer to the previous video for the circuit itself, but I finally have it on a perf board here. Um, and that's the completed circuit. Really have no other features to add to this, except for maybe some uh, minor sound engineering stuff to uh, shape the waves and things like that and adjust the gain and volume and all that and add a line-in feature. But that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.